In today's video, we're gonna talk about three main reasons you might wanna start microdosing. Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name's Fola, and here on DeepMind Squared, we talk all things bridging mental wellness and spirituality for nurses, really tying into those themes around psychedelics and plant medicines. And today, after being away for a bit of time, kind of finishing up some other major projects that have been going on in my life, I wanted to come on and really start to share a bit more around how medicines such as the plant medicines and psychedelics can support us in healing. And I think as nurses, this is super important. Uh, there's a lot of stigma and shame around, you know, engaging with different substances. It's not like it's encouraged. And of course, this video is for harm reduction and education purposes. So don't go do anything that's like illegal, obviously. But the reality of it is the fact that many, many people are turning to different psychedelics, whether they're legal or not, to support them in their healing. And at this point, there are many plant medicines, psychedelics that are still like considered illegal, and there are some that are legal. So you need to do your research. But here today, I hope that we can shed some light on maybe what are some reasons you might want to start microdosing, especially like psilocybin. Obviously, microdosing, when I say that, there's so many different types of medicines out there that you can utilize. You need to find what works best for you and how to go about doing that in a safe way. Before we get into all the content, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're updated on future video releases. And feel free to invite someone that you think might be interested to this channel, inviting them to subscribe so that they're updated on other material that comes out and join this community where we can really start to engage and support one another with our personal healing journey. For myself, I found microdosing to be very beneficial to support me in uncomfortable covering a lot of like inner wounds and to start to create a life that's much more like filled with ease and clarity and more pleasure. So I hope that, you know, this information I can share with you, it's like from my personal experiences and also from hearing many of the people that I work with and how they are going about their integration within psychedelic spaces. So the first reason why someone might want to microdose and that seems to be a huge benefit is around the ability to shift the core beliefs. So what are these core beliefs? As we grow up, we are basically programmed with certain ways in which we perceive our reality, uh, certain ways that we hold as like truths. Uh, you know, this can be around like money and abundance. It can be around how we see we need to show up in relationships with other people. There's like a wide range. But with microdosing, uh, depending on the schedule and what you're kind of going about, it seems as though these core beliefs start to shift because we're able to really acknowledge what it is or how it is that we're showing up in our everyday life. And then from there, the uh, dare I call them flaws or the challenges that might kind of be uh, related to that core belief really can become quite apparent. So it's not always the most comfortable thing, but it's like any area of our life. If we can see what's happening, then we can start to create the changes that we feel called to. And it also allows us to see what the benefits are, because sometimes there's core beliefs that are the things that still align for us. So that's totally cool. But if you're feeling like maybe there's something going on in your life and you feel stuck and the sense of like you just can't move forward then perhaps there's a disconnect between like your higher self or that soul level and that core belief that you've just been basically programmed to follow for most of your life a second reason to consider microdosing is that it really helps us to support in building more healthy relationships with sometimes difficult emotions I've seen this with folks, you know, who come about with experiences of intense, like depression or even anger, um, certain forms of anxieties, you know, like the relationship to that emotion is not always the most positive, especially in our world where we're like, well, we should always feel good and be happy and so forth. Or we're like damned if we express anger at a young age, you know, we're told to keep it within. So it's not just about like clearing these emotions and like getting rid of them so that we're just like all smiles. 
It doesn't work like that. Really, this is about us coming to a new relationship with these emotions that are part of the normal human experience. And it seems as though, based on what I've experienced and seen in others, that microdosing can oftentimes do this for people. So if you're in a place where you're hoping to gain some new understandings and build this new form of like relationship with uh, maybe challenging or difficult emotion, then perhaps microdosing will be the thing to support you. And finally, I would say is to heal trauma and gaining a perspective on trauma. And this is a huge part that microdosing can support us with. I think it has to do with rewiring like our nervous system, rewiring the pathways in which we've kind of perceived things in our life. And it gives us this ability to kind of step back and hopefully from a non-biased perspective, be open to receiving that guidance on ways we can support the healing and to uncover some of those wounds, um, especially around like the victim, uh, like the victim wound or feeling like we are always being harmed or in harm's way. It can support us in starting to see that there is like this greater perspective, uh, greater consciousness. You know, some people refer to it as like this divine, spiritual, like God figure, or whatever. But there is something more, and it's part of that. And seeing the interconnectedness of all our experiences, a lot of deep healing, um, surrender, and also acceptance can take place. And we know that when we can accept things, that's when we're truly able to live a life that's like free of all these other sorts of limitations or these like expectations of others. And we start to just flow more smoothly along like the river of like this life experience. So definitely microdosing can support with healing these traumas. And I think this is important, especially as nurses. We go through a lot of challenges. We've gone through and seen a lot of pretty um, intense situations. I know for myself, uh, that's something that I went through working in like psychiatry for many years. And, you know, some of which I think are still kind of lingering, you know, these pieces and just the vicarious trauma that we continually go through hearing people's stories and supporting others that are in our care. So super important that we engage with our own personal healing in whatever way this looks like. You know, we talk about altered states here, so it doesn't have to be just microdosing. There's potential through a wide range of healing modalities and spiritual practices that you can support yourself and remain grounded while still maintaining the life and the work that you do. So I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to share in the comments, maybe if there's a way or a thing that microdosing has supported you and any other questions that you might have or suggestions for future videos. And feel free to like and share this video with anyone you think might be interested. So I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Take care.